everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Reviewcade! My name is Andrew. And I'm Alan Wake. Mmm. Hello, Alan. Hi. Can you tell me how this story ends? <laughs> First of all, I don't know why you're playing my game. <laughs> is there a lot of, a lot more dark, spooky shadow people and, um, more inaccurate, uh, Washington forests? Well, see, when I wrote the manuscript, and also I did, you know, you are playing my life, um, you know, I want... Yes. Thank you for giving me a shotgun. Oh, well, it's oh, it's a hunting rifle. Okay. First of okay. all, you're welcome. Second of all, to your answer your question about the inaccuracies of Washington, mm -hmm. um, yes, that there will be more. There will um, be more because um, this uh, was a during a time in my life where I found out, you know, uh, I went through a, a rough patch in my life. Ah. Um, you know, Black Sabbath stopped touring, mm. and um, you know they reunited, and they they just stopped. And you know, Jackass was going off the air. Um, you know, and there was just a lot of hard thing. You know, they stopped selling Surge in in mm. in, in in grocery stores, and and you know, I mean, you know, when a Surge is gone, what else left is there? For one's life, you know. <laughs> there, there's not much. I mean, the 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 closest thing you could get is you know code red. Um, I mean, to even try that, to that, that 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 sugared swill. <laughs> that sugared swill. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, but uh, yeah, uh, you know these these people are actually based on. Yo, excuse me, sir. Uh, each so each person is based on my failings as a writer. Um, each is a, a negative reviewer. <laughs> uh, someone who gave me a bad review in life and um, you know so I felt like hey well I can't get revenge on my enemies in real life so I'm gonna get revenge on my enemies <laughs> in uh, digital league. this game is literally just a revenge kick yeah Ex oh I mean, ho, 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 ho! the luck I mean I mean do you know how many countless nights I've spent angrily masturbating at the thought of <laughs> being able to shine a light on my haters and actually like put, put your haters in the spotlight pretty much <laughs> uh, every night um, from 10.01 to 10.03. Um, <laughs> that would happen. <laughs> Let there be light. You know, I will tell you, Alan, um, yeah. just just from, you know, somebody who's really lived uh, in this place, not as many um, weird, just random lights um, or generators uh, out, out there in the woods. Um, it's just a lot of woods. Not a lot of that. So I don't know how you survived uh, your, this, this, uh, lack of surge. Yeah, Clearly but it's driving yeah, people but crazy. Yeah, but Washington's Washington's mostly a see. This is my first time in Washington, so like knowing first from that, time, my, my first impressions now, of Washington. Now, knowing that from just from my first impressions and my first visit of Washington as a state, I know there's a lot of elderly people there. Mm. I know they all fall asleep after Wheel of Fortune at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. So you know, listen. You might say, hey, that's a reason why we should not have so many street lights. But I say, you know what? You have to light your own way in life. Now, the real accuracy here, and I really want to just touch on the majesty of something that is truly Washingtonian. Yes. Um, outside of the incredible, um, w incredibly weird physics of these tree branches. Yeah. Because um, they are paper thin. and <laughs> um, The reality is that there are, in fact, coffee, random coffee thermoses everywhere you go. Yes. You know, um, yeah. Um, that that is one thing I will give you credit where credit is due. Yep. Well, I mean, you know, uh, as you've seen, pine trees swaying in a, in the wind, not so much. You know, coffee thermoses. Uh, yes. As I will say, um, so uh, Coleman was actually a sponsor of okay. this game as well. So not, not Starbucks. Uh, I mean, you saw earlier with the phone, that was Verizon, and um, you know, a bunch of other wonderful companies helped me get this game made. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, um, I reached out. I was like, hey, you know, I I love coffee. Mm -hmm. um, I mean. We couldn't get Dunkin' Donuts because obviously we couldn't put a Dunkin' Donuts in the forest. Though that is my biggest wet dream. Um, Excuse me, sir. And um, you know, um, you know. So I was like, hey, I may reach out to a camping company, and you know, Coleman makes wonderful fine products for your camping needs. And you know, midnight nice lanterns, um, thermoses, you know, di you know, little cups and stuff like that for your you know camping adventures mm -hmm. and. I said, you know, hey, Coleman, you know, I, I'm, I'm making this, this game. It's set in uh, the wonderful state of Washington. Um, and I was wondering, uh, you know, I need something to get my, my energy going, my, my life back. And, um, uh, you know, uh, I, how about, I was thinking coffee, but instead of just, like, you know, like a coffee mug or anything like that, 
why not put it in a nice blue Coleman thermos? Mm, gotcha. And they gave me $70 million for that. I am and, surprised uh, that Coleman had the balls to step into Starbucks territory. Well, you know... What... You know, Coleman gives zero fucks because right. Coleman is yeah. Coleman is all about the experienced and and, and and not about giving in to you know their their the corporate their greed corporate of, greed yeah, of yeah, others, yeah. Um, ooh, ooh. and um, yeah. So I mean that that is something that is just you know it's fine. They kind of gave me seventy million dollars. I'm gonna get this game made. Um, a lot of that seventy million. You know, people say, oh, you know. Str- you know, cocaine and drugs. No, mm-hmm. um, it went to you know. Do you know how expensive Strippers it is? Strippers and magicians. No. Stripper magicians. No. It was Wh- um, what? Listen. Who? So so Who? I am. Who? So, oh, it's the evil sentient cum stain on the floor. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, going back to my ma- my angrily masturbation. That mm-hmm. is that is. Mm-hmm. I had a part that. You know, I, I. But I but, figured, but to answer your question, you were about, leaving clues behind as to how yes, your experience. But to was answer your question, Washington. Andrew, um, thank you for welcoming me on the show. Uh, it's it's wonderful. Um, <laughs> You know, to answer your question about the money that I spent that Coleman gave me, the seventy million, mm-hmm. you know, some of it did go to, you know, my back rent. You know, I was I owed about, you know, ten grand in back rent. Uh, um, you know, because my wife left me. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. And uh, or was she kidnapped? Well, she she um, she, she uh, wanted a man. She wanted to marry and be with a writer who was more accomplished, so she started um, oh. banging behind my back. Gotcha. Um, and so... What? Um, what? 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 And, and so, uh, you know, uh, I... I uh, yeah, and so I decided, you know what? Um, she's not going to get half into the divorce, gotcha. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go to Disneyland because it's very expensive and it's fun to do. And just, I spent about about 400 k on just having pancakes with Mickey Mouse every morning. Wow, 400 k on Mickey Mouse time. Oh, oh, see, there you go. More accuracies. Yeah. Just a random coffee thermos well, in no, the it's dark a, no, abyss it's, of a cabin. No, it's not just a random one. That's actually called the Coleman X250 thermos. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Um, it has a nice thinly layered um, bluish paint, mm-hmm. um, which is painted over a undentable, unrustable um, container, a, a holster okay. for your... It could be coffee, it could be soup, it could be a variety of different liquids you could put in those uh, wonderful thermos that are made by Coleman. But, um, yeah, I, uh, I, I just, uh, you know, I love Mickey Mouse, mm-hmm. and why not drown my sorrows in batter and syrup? Why not spend time with Mickey Mouse when my wife has left me, right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, and there are many other writers, um, that she, um... Uh, was uh you know and I understood you know she you know she was like hey yeah when are you gonna go out and you know you're actually gonna write something and I'm like you know what uh there's a new Scooby Doo on so back off my fucking case and uh you know um that that did not go well um uh, I actually because uh I I really fell into a hole where I was just binging everything on different streaming sites um I actually uh. <laughs> <laughs> went past my my due date for my manuscript and I lost the advance. Ah, gotcha. gotcha. So all the advance. That's what I was telling you with the whole advance. I mean, you know, being back on background stuff like that. that <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, when when you when you open your account and you see you got some money in there, and the next day, you know, publishing is like, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pull the, the lid off of it. We're not gonna go forward with this. Um, now, Alan, I know that this this story is times. very much a. Um, a real life retelling. Um, some of the aspects are quite uh, uh, symbolic in nature. Can you tell me the symbolism of this uh, giant oil drum? Um, so this is reminiscent of the time I took Molly. Okay. In Connecticut. Yep. Um, yeah. I. Um, it, it was a weird time. I was in you know Source, Connecticut, where the University of Connecticut is, and I wasn't there for a basketball game or anything. Like that I was just there. Mm-hmm. Um, as one does. As one does. Um, and as one is, normally. Uh, and that Just o- in Connecticut. Yeah, normally. and, uh, I saw... For a moment, Connecticut You know, time. I saw, you know, I was getting gas, um, and 
I just saw an oil drum there, and I'm like, huh, that's a great place to um, store the remains of my enemies. Ah. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, um, uh, I will say this. Uh, I, I actually, whew, look at the time. Um, I, I, I have a... Um, a, 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 a uh, so, I, 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 this part of the night... Um, I, I actually have a local church group I have to meet mm-hmm, with. Mm-hmm. Um, as, as one does. I'm not a religious man. I'm just telling them the um, do's and don'ts of um, proper brand management in terms of uh, you know coffee because I've been to a lot of church gatherings and stuff like that, and there's just they don't have the right coffee. Um, mm. So I go, and that's part of how I make my money is I go around the U.S., different churches. and Je- Jesus and, Christ! And may praise be his name. Um, and uh, get away. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, I, I lecture on the importance of getting good coffee because the better your coffee, the more followers you have, and the more people you can get to going to. Whether it's your business, taking your products, or your church services. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. So I, I help spread the performance. It's not going well. I only have a couple of people I talk to. But well, you know, the reason that it's not going well is because you're not also thinking about donut sales and how important coffee and donuts are after a regular Sunday service. See, I was it's, thinking, a, it's a combined deal. If you don't have both, how are people going to be able to socialize? See, I would say yes to the donut idea, but mm-hmm. real quick, I mean, what nothing goes better to me than coffee and just a nice just a nice napkin and on top of that napkin is a few dill pickles. Um Coffee and pickles, yeah. uh, an interesting combo. Um, Not one that I've uh, I've seen after at the end of a church. Well, you're service. you're missing out. I'm I, telling you know. You what. But uh, I'm gonna get going, and uh, you know, <laughs> good luck pl- with your coffee and pickles. Uh, I look forward to the wonderful review you guys are gonna leave this game. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna get going yes. later. <laughs> Bye. Oh man, hey, so um, what did I miss? You missed a lot. Me oh. and Alan Wake. Woo! Let's just say he's not going to need a new wife anytime soon. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. oh God. Uh, that was a whole tree, by the way. Oh, okay, cool. Um, there's clearly a Sasquatch. By the way, I, I noticed uh, coming in that um, uh, Alan actually tried... He, like, tried to give me pickles oh! and coffee. Oh! Oh. Uh, this guy has a chainsaw. Oh. Hello, Satan. Oh, Jesus. Nope. You are staying away from me, sir. Come on. (laughs) Come here. I want to give you a hug. (laughs) Should go faster. Yes. Oh, I'm just waiting for one of those shabby people to be like, This is it, Alan! You're a big break! Welcome to Prime Time, Oh! Oh! Damn! Damn. (laughs) Wow. I made made him do a (laughs) backflip. Wow. Wow. Um, I will give it that. That was very satisfying. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, lordy. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, oh god. Oh, those are just wooden <laughs> bears. I was like the com- the com- the uh the the It's midsummer. No, no, it's the um council of the bear ship. Oh, it's uh it's Smokey and Yogi mm-hmm. and Boo Boo and um Humphrey. Pooh. Oh, Pooh, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you keep the lights on for me. Um, of course, it's a full moon. Um, this is Washington, Andrew. It's not a Motel 6. I'm not going to leave the light on for you. Terrible. There are Motel 6s in Washington. They're just, you know, mm-hmm. they're, they, they prefer the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> why am I, why am I still, I, I forgot who Barry is. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot the guy we're trying to go see. Uh-huh. Uh. Oh, oh, there's a car. 
That's going to be important. From the lock garage. Oh my god, if you actually get to drive in this game. I. We're gonna have to talk about the driving mechanics. Yeah. If you can drive, uh, unless it might just be a giant cutscene. Because we all know Alan so far in this game has had an impeccable driving record. Um, just A1. <laughs> you know that meme that. <laughs> It, uh, it's the the male fantasy in video games. Yeah. <laughs> I, went, I went to the women's restroom. <laughs> Guys, I want one thing. It's fucking disgusting. Oh, so so women don't have toilets in their bathroom. I see how it is. And they have urinal stalls with no urinals. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. And they just, no mirrors. They just piss in the trough. In this game. You go into the men's restroom and it's just disgusting. And it's, it's just, like, ah, I see. That's that's the problem here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. We can't open it. Oh! Ah! We got toilets! We got oh, toilets in the men's restroom. And a wheelbarrow. And a TV. Oh, okay. Um. Wow. Sir! Clearly. I just looked in there. You were not pooping. I mean, the guy could have been like a voyeur or something. Just watch Yeah, but I people. went into the... Oh, no, I went into this one. Yeah. So there's toilets in the men's restroom. Wait, go back to the women's one. I know it sounds perverted, but like, go back to the women's one. I just listen, want to make sure. Listen, this is only only more, this more is like, evidence like, to like, support like, the I know, I know, some, I know, I know it sounds bad. I know it sounds perverted, but there's like a lot of, you know... Uh, you know, I'm for research. Like, I read Playboy for the articles type of deal. But I like, oh wow, there literally Nick, aren't toilets in there. Nick, this is only the game proving that women, in fact, do not fart or poop. No, they're they're they, don't. they are, there are, are no they do not have buttholes. No, no. <laughs> Thank you, they, Alan Wake. They sneeze. You have debunked it for everyone. They sneeze glitter and cough rainbows. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah. Whatever they eat, it just becomes one. Yeah. You know all uh -huh. of it. Yep. You could probably bite into into a chick and just eat and just taste strawberries, you know? I mean, I, I'm, I... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, run them over. I mean... Wait, is that a... Sh are you... Is that a Ford? It is a Ford. You're driving... It's a Ford. It's a Ford F-150. Yeah, because the Ford logo's on a trunk. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, um, yeah a fun? little bit more reactive to uh, it's <laughs> it's kind of like Cyberpunk's oh, Jesus. level of control. Oh God. Oh! Um. Return to bed. Yeah, go straight. Whoa. I'll try to get back on the road. No. No way. I'm about to say there's no way you're stuck. <laughs> We're cheating. <laughs> We're. What is going on with the... Hey, go go over in reverse again. I just want to see if it's like a, if you like a trophy. Hold, Hold down a, to boost, boost light. lights. Okay. Wow. Excuse me, gentlemen. I mean, I could just plow through them and yeah. not kill them. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's an achievement for, you know, killing all the shadows. Oh, well, there's gotta be one, like, you know, like, what would the trophy be called, do you think? I know we're not gonna get it, but, like, just best guess what the trophy, we, we, or what um, you would call the trophy for doing so, I'll say the that. The woods grow silent? I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just, you, know, you unlock a trophy, you unlock a trophy, but it's just an ad Human for logging? the... Human logging? No, 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 um. no it, you, you unlock a trophy, but it's just an ad for the Ford F-150. It's like, it just, it's just in writing all the features that it has. Really, game? Really? Did it get out of the car? I'm confused. I am very confused as well. I'm assuming I have to get, get out, out of the since car. the road is blocked. Yeah. So, how was your driving experience? Uh, terrible, and there's creepy sounds. Where are you? Step into the light. <laughs> Darkness grows across the land. 
The midnight hour is close at hand. Actually, you know what? Booyah. Boom! Take that, you ugly sons of bitches! Hell yeah. Ooh, boy! Oh, the boys are back in town! I think that light post right there is a checkpoint, but you have to kill these guys first, it looks like. Boom! <laughs> Triple kill! I wish there was a, uh, a way where you could just have like unlimited flares. Oh, man. Like a cheat. I'm sure there's some sort of cheat code in this game that would allow uh, for that to God, happen. God, do you remember the days of like Game Shark and like Cheat CC? Oh, oh my God. Days. Oh, he kind of. Oh, okay. I thought he didn't knock the door down, but okay. Yeah, it didn't even make the sound. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Knocking the door down. Um, okay, there's a bottle of wine, but there's no thermos, really? Wow. Unrealistic. Un Zero out of ten. Unbelievable. <laughs> of all places for a thermos to be, you don't put it in the one place that it has to be. Um, yeah! Thank the reach. Lord. Thank God. So that's going to do it for this episode of Review Kate. As always, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon because when you do, you get nice little notifications when new videos go up every Sunday and Wednesday. And hey, if you have a game request, be sure to email us, reviewcade at gmail.com. Be sure to find us on social media. We're at facebook.com slash reviewcade. We're also on Twitter and on Instagram at reviewcade as well. Mm. And we will see you all with more fun Alan Wake and hopefully more fun driving in Alan Wake God. on the next episode of Review Cade. We will see you all on Wednesday. Bye!